Today's key stage two results show a modest but welcome improvement in uh, reading with a one percentage point uh, increase in the proportion of young people reaching the expected level in reading and a one percentage point rise in mathematics compared to last year and a very welcome improvement uh, in the proportion of young people reaching the expected level in writing which has risen by four percentage points compared to last year and all of this is a tribute to the hard work of thousands of teachers throughout the country and indeed the hard work of pupils and the support of their parents. But beneath these figures there are some causes for concern. Uh, we're worried that uh, those children at the lower end of the attainment level uh, are not doing as well as they ought to do. It is a concern that one in ten boys, for example, are leaving primary school with the reading age of seven or lower. Uh, we're also worried that uh, at the top end that there isn't sufficient stretch for those children who are doing well. Uh, and we're also concerned that a third of children are leaving primary school at the age of 11, going on to secondary school, still struggling in those basics of reading, writing and mathematics. And those are the building blocks for education at secondary level. And it is unacceptable that so many children have still not mastered these basic skills. So what are we doing about it? Well, we want children to become fluent readers as soon as possible after they start school. And we want them taught using methods uh, that are proven to be the most effective way of teaching children to read. And the evidence from throughout the English-speaking world is that early, systematic, synthetic phonics is the most effective way of teaching young children to read. So we're supporting schools in purchasing uh, programs to uh, help teachers use that method of teaching children to read well, and with the accompanying training. We're also introducing a phonic check at the age of six to ensure that children have mastered this basic skill of how to decode a word. And the purpose of the check is to pick up those children who are still struggling so they can be given extra support by the school to ensure they don't slip through the net uh, and that their problems can be addressed sooner rather than later. We can't have a system uh, where one in ten boys still struggle with this basic skill um, by the time they leave primary school. We want children to become fluent readers by the age of six and seven at the latest so they can spend the remaining years of primary school not just struggling to read but actually reading to learn and becoming fluent readers who enjoy reading for pleasure. That's the aim of, uh, of our program because it is unacceptable that so many children are still leaving primary school, still struggling uh, with these basics. Those are the children who find it a, a real problem being able to access the secondary curriculum. If at the age of 11 you start secondary school uh, with a reading age of seven, it's very difficult for those children to catch up. And we want a, an education system uh, where children have mastered these skills early on and not still struggling uh, after five or six years of primary education.